Oh my God. Okay. So it's- we are early by 15 seconds. Thank you. Welcome to Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. And this is your second to last today, uh, tonight, Radio Gunk Show. Until, as Avery just said to us before we came on air, the, um, what, the what scores? Spirit of <laughs> Halloween. The next open. time you hear the Howard Stern Show, the Spirit Halloween stars will be well on their way. That's right. That's right. That's exactly what will be going on. So yeah, this this is it. I am I not gonna lie, looking forward to tomorrow's show, which will absolutely be taken down. But today's show, meanwhile, was just a, a shit show of epic proportions. Um I couldn't even remember right this moment what went on in today's I show. can, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I know it's it's mentally it that that's why I drink. <laughs> oh, is that why? <laughs> So That's why I drink because oh. I'm trying to forget. Um, mean your drinking will completely stop in the summertime. It'll yeah. slow down to us. It'll slow down to a. Let's crawl. not get crazy. It'll slow down to a crawl. Don't don't get nuts. Let's not get nuts here, okay? Yeah, exactly. Let's not let's not let's not get our tits in an uproar about them. This is uh, drinking. Exactly. You know, easy. Uh, yeah. So today's show was kind of not interesting. And no pants is a reductive style. Yeah, I have no pants on. Sorry. I just have a little dress on and I still have my bathing suit on because, you know, it's one of those days because it's summer. It's time. If there's any time to be like this, this is this is the time. Oh, sorry. They go my glasses. All right. Uh, oh, no, those ants are going to die. <laughs> no, 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 no. These are smaller ones. See? Oh, I see. Oh, there's a normal. OK. Mm-hmm. Summer. It should be upside down. Okay. Upside down. So how do you, what would you say today's show in a nutshell was? Uh, basically fill, three hours of filler. Three, Yeah, three hours of filler. Yeah. Yeah, really bad filler, like the stuff that's outlawed by the FDA filler. He's right. It's It was it was pure filler. Um, I do want to talk about JD going with Blit to Paris. Yeah. Um, you know, he's still running with the Italy thing, but even though whatever he's going to say today pales in comparison, every last drop there, Dennis, every last drop. I got it. You got it. You can't waste. Uh, can't waste. <laughs> there you go. It's all out now. Uh, so yeah, so we'll have a little bit more Italy talk, but it pales in comparison to what will be happening tomorrow. So that's that's pretty much all we got we're gonna we're gonna start our shit show and hope that uh hope that it goes okay Uh, let me just get some stuff up here Uh, (laughs) let us also take note of the fact that um as xavier pointed out today uh we are almost exactly to the day tuesday june 23rd 2020 when jimmy kimmel in fact started taking the summers off because of the expose of him being in blackface and the network saying to him, dude, you know, thank God you're taking some time off. So hopefully this will kind of all go away and that will be the end of that. So I have no, I have, this is where I completely lost every ounce of respect for him. This was actually funny. This was actually very good. It was like Carl Malone. It was very funny. It was like Carl Malone. And, and, and it's, I'm embarrassed that he's such a spineless yeah. twat. Well, let's also consider that it was the man show. It was, you know, almost 25 years ago at this point. Um, it, it was kind of okay to do that at that point. It, it's, honest. it's funny. It's Carl Malone. He's the tr- he was the trucker in the NBA. I mean, <laughs> dear God. Yeah. I mean, it was Carl Malone. He found it funny. So, of course, he takes oh, off. Oh, Xavier blew up his panel again, I guess. I know. So, <laughs> so he takes off for the summer, and then Howard's like, hey, why don't I take off for the summer? How come I don't get to do what Jimmy gets Some to summers do? summer's off. I deserve it. I'm a big shot. I'm, you know, I'm the man. and uh, And I should be able to do it as well. And, and the next new contract happened, and here and we are. Voila, and voila, here we are. No One summer. day away from eight weeks off. And I kind of have a sneaking suspicion that they're going to Italy next week. Hopefully, we'll have more information about it tomorrow. It's such a Oh, my God, such a rookie. I mean, everything about this, this screams rookie move. Everything. 
everything's great. I know how much I love this. I just love, I love, I love the newness of him doing something that's outside of his comfort zone. Uh, and, yeah. I, do love how, it. I think it's just amazing that he is this guy because it's, it's just horrible. It's, 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 it's horrible that he has become this person. And oh no, he was, he was destined to become this person. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely destined. It was great. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, we're going to listen to a little bit of him playing guitar. Oh. We're going to uh, hear about his uh, discussion on why he looks so awful um, for the for the Nostra Animal League thing. I can't believe we lost Xavier again. This is like the second day. He in a blew out that panel again. You know, he, he, had some, he had some bad contractor. Shit, did he ever? Yeah, himself. <laughs> no, no, yeah, he paid to have somebody put that, that panel in. That panel in, I know. I know. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, all right. Well, hopefully he'll be back with us. All right. So let's start the show and see what we've got. So we start with him basically talking about how he doesn't think it's going to be a good show because he's really exhausted because he didn't have a good night's sleep last night. Of course, never the one to not jump onto the bandwagon. Robin also had the exact same horrible night. Uh, hers is even funnier. When we played this clip, Everybody, please just pay attention to the timeline in Robin's world. Oh, and try to figure it out. Hopefully, to... I, hopefully, I have what it is that you're talking about because I'm. Oh, not sure. if not, I will. I will fill it in because it made zero sense. Yeah, well, it literally, it literally made no sense at all. What else is new? Let me see. I got, I got some clips from today because uh, I wanted to talk about Robin's makeup. Do we have do we have video yet of that? Do we have any pictos? Um, all right, the second I'm looking for because I want to see this 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 makeup. Yeah, that we have Robin. That she's no longer allergic to. No, okay. I have no I have no thoughts about this, but but we'll come back. So here we go. Yeah. Lord. Then I get off the air and I go to sleep. And, you know, it's yeah, all it's all screwed up. up. I'm I'm screwed. Yeah, I, I hear you. I'm in the same boat. But uh, anyway, we're here. We're doing the show. It probably won't be very good. We're both very tired. <laughs> and so, fuck you. I mean, what are we supposed to do? We're trying to sleep. It's not like we're not doing our job. Yeah, I was in bed. <laughs> um, if the show sucks, don't blame me. Blame me. Um, you're the host. Yeah, you're the host. You're yeah. the host, dude. You're the only person that we can blame for a horrible show. And and it works. It seems to be working. You you're right on target to having the worst show that is humanly possible. I don't know that it could get any worse. Oh, it can. Don't don't yes. ever say that. Oh no, don't ever say that. It can always get worse. I think yesterday was actually horrible. I think to today was worse. I don't think today was worse. I think you're right. I think you're right. Today was worse. Um. So he starts talking about. I thought this was an interesting conversation. Wait, the sleep, the, the, is it all the sleep thing? That's all I got. So yeah, talk all to right. you. So, so he talks about how he woke up at 3 a.m. He went to bed at 9. That's still six hours of sleep. Okay. Yeah, I exactly. can survive on six hours of sleep all day long. Pretty much anyway. Yes. Blobbin says she fell asleep sometime during the day. She was napping. Then she woke up, did some things, fell back asleep. And then woke up at nine o'clock last night and had been up since then. That doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. Do you think she's coherent at this point, though? Do you, it seems like the perception of time is something that that goes when you're, you know, when when the Grim yeah, Reaper sundowners. I think she's starting to get that sundowners at this point. I, seriously, you know, you're joking, but I think you're. I, I'm not joking. Accurate. I'm saying it with a smile. Yeah, <laughs> because. Literally, the, the timeline made it's almost like she went to sleep right after the show ended yesterday. Woke up, did some things, went back to sleep, and then woke up at nine o'clock last night. She probably got I did some seven hours of sleep. Change her diaper. Yeah, exactly. Jeez. Oh, okay. So anyway, so suffice it to say, neither of them get any sleep. Um, then apparently, Tom Morello got in contact with him oh. and wanted hit to share with him a new song that he did with his son. So why? Because this is a commercial. And not only that, but yeah, it's hundred percent a commercial. Into, it tapped so much into Howard's incredibly psychotic jealousy of anybody who can play guitar, and he's actually like supremely jealous of this thirteen-year-old. I have a oh, little. Is that Namby? No, this is Roman Morello. 
Oh, okay. He's a Nepo. He's a Nepo kid. Got it. Of course he is. He's Tom Morello's son. So let's just, but, but, but he can play guitar. <laughs> So he, there's a new song that he came out with with his son and he thinks he's like, you know, it's cool as shit and whatever. And Howard's really jealous of it because obviously it brings him back to, you know, just the sorrow that was his childhood. Whoa. No, Listen, taught him how to play guitar. Like, like Wolfie Van, Van B- Buffet. When you <laughs> know, you literally Whoa. never have to work one day in your life. You don't have to even finish high school. It's yeah. like, yeah, pick up a freaking guitar and learn how to play it. Not that difficult. If you're Tom Morello's son, or if you're uh, exactly. Yeah, Tom, exactly, and I love Tom Morello's anger at everything. He went to Harvard, he, r- rich parents, been exactly. rich all his life. Exactly. Go, go away, you ass. Seriously, I, go away. I remember. I, I told you. you guys, I met him at Disneyland. You met him at Disney. <laughs> I met him at Disneyland. And, <laughs> like, and this is like during the height of rage. I'm like, isn't this the machine, bro? <laughs> He's a tool. Now, a, you can't get more to the machine than Disney. What are you doing at Disney? Not, not so much. What nationality is Tom Morello? He's half. Yeah, he's a Blacksican or something like that. A Blacksican? Yeah, I was. He's, 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 he's a half. He's a half guy. Because I was looking at pictures. He's on, half black, half something else. I've never even paid attention to him. My uh, like. He's a little guy too, like man. Morello, he is so tiny. Like yeah. He's in that Angus Young size. He's a wee. He's a wee guy. He's, he's a wee, wee man. man. I show you he's that picture. Like he's, he's barely up to my nipples. <laughs> Ooh. Ooga. So, you know what's funny? The only reason I knew it was him because he was walking with one of those cast member escorts and he had the, the Chicago Cubs hat. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> there's your girl. There's Nandy Bushell. And she um she's Nandy's, on Nandy's freaking ridiculously t- she's a she's a basically uh what do you call those people when you're gifted at music? She's being a savant. music? She's savant. Not, not savant. There's another word for her, isn't it? Prodigy, right? Prodigy. She's a prodigy. She's a prodigy, dude. She is. Yeah, this the only problem is now she's like no longer like a little kid. She's like a annoying looking teenager. She looks like some of my cousins. I don't know. Yeah. Right? She's looking, she's really good. Yeah, she is. But so dude, anyway, I've... together with his son and her and produce this song. I, and Howard made no mention of of, of her. course not. The girl, no, of course not. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just say Nandy's no Zuza Zoo. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> of course there's jealousy and of course we need to hear about it so let's go to that but Tom Morello, yeah, he, what up? he did what you call sublimate he didn't touch his actual penis he touched the guitar so uh, yeah can we talk about that for a real quick second so uh, I'm thinking to myself now why is she using words like sublimate like why is this something I don't know it's just probably on one of those admin calendars to tell us so it's a uh, psychoanalytic theory to divert or modify um, an instinctual impulse into a culturally higher or socially more acceptable activity. Libido must be sublimated into productive work activities. If this doesn't come from her cult-like thing yeah. that she does, yes. I, don't know, yeah. I don't know what does. That's exactly what that's from. It's from those cult things she joins and takes that take a lot of her money. Yes, she's an absolutely. idiot. She's an absolute idiot. So yeah, okay. Let me continue. I'm sorry. Let me let's just continue with this disaster. It's, it's, it's from a calendar. Come on, guys. Tomorrow will be Tom Tom Morello's kid. Learning it. I'm so <laughs> jealous. Tom Morello's kid learning at that young age. Now and now for the rest of his life, he'll have music. You know, he'll yeah. have he'll have that. I get a feeling like Tom's like a real good dad. You know, like. I gotta be honest. My dad was not real good at being a dad. I don't know what he, he should never have had me. Landmark, <sighs> yes, thank you, landmark. For I mean, he just now stop that. Then we wouldn't have you. Yeah, well, I think he everything would have been us. just fine. <laughs> he robbed you of this. So, my dad was the crusher of souls. <laughs> what a jerk off. Um, yeah, he really, he really uh, was not. He he was not my biggest cheerleader. Let's put it that way. And I probably bet that Tom throws a baseball with his son every once in a while, too. I just get that feeling. I bet they... Yeah, sure, sure. This so, is the guy that used mm-hmm. to brag that he was in his basement with that big fish tank with the, with the locked doors jerking off to teenager porn while their kids were in their formative years. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Like, 
what about your daughters? Uh, what did you do for them? You help. I mean, seriously, look at Zuzazu. Your oldest daughter is, is, is like crazy. I mean, she's literally she, hungering literally for anybody to love her. The highlight of her career will be playing the a ukulele at a brisk last week. It's the height of narcissism yes. because never does he ever say, my daughter took guitar lessons or anybody that I uh, think. Uh, that I that I was a good father to my children. I really? enabled. I threw a friggin' baseball with my my kids. It never like no, he didn't in his wheelhouse. Part of, he he wasn't how horrible his father was, but never shines the light on himself as a father. The ever. thing is, Ben was actually a great father. Ben bought him whatever he wanted. He took him places wherever he wanted to go. Ben he, was as he, good of a father as he could be. I, I mean, that dude worked, what, fun. 60 hours a week? It's the 50s. It's the 60s. You know, everybody was trying to strive to be better than their parents, obviously. Uh, yeah. A lot of parents came from the Depression. And so everybody strived to be the best that they could be under the circumstances. And that just doesn't mean, you know, to spoil the child to death. But how was a spoiled, indulged child? Yes, he was. Nothing he was a about brat. Him that wasn't. Listen. boy. You know, I mean, and the guy that when when his when Ashley was like what eight nine, he was bragging about wearing sweatpants to scores. Yeah, he was, I mean, wasn't well, he? See, let's put shit in perspective. So the yeah, dude, you me was he doing stuff with his kids? Was he doing anything that? Uh, he was going to scores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, I mean, didn't didn't he, didn't he say like then? Yeah, it was also Ashley who snuck into his his basement uh, jerk room. Well, he was like watching babysitter porn. And yeah. I was like, that's why you put double locks. Then Ralph hung down there and they play closer by yeah, nine yeah. inch nails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, in, in, in. Okay, let's let's just put that aside for one second. If you condense the amount of work that you that he does in one year, he literally has about three hundred disposable days a year where he is not confined to, to having to work for a living and just do whatever he wants. And he, but all he does is just bitch. Cause you know why? Cause he sucks. He sucks at a lot of, he's he the king of all sucks. He sucks at life. He really he does. does suck at life. So many things. I know. And I, you know what? It just really dawned on me whilst we were talking about how this constant beratement of his parents never seems to extend to himself. Never seems to like never. mirror up to himself to say what kind of parent even now with, with middle-aged kids he's never no never never yeah 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 i mean it's just the way it is okay so enough she, and literally like his daughter emily she's playing like one of those acoustic guitar, the guitars you buy during the holiday season at costco and she and and she's talking about how you know her father uh you know put her against all yeah 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 and, that was never going to be something that she did. And you know you what? Know, can we get Emily on this show? Man? She, her father did that to her, and that's who she is. That's and, then, and then he went, guess what? I'm cutting you off. And then she really, oh, I was just kidding. Yeah, he didn't cut her off. Nothing happened. He no, just, dude, she backpedaled like freaking. She backpedaled like Deion Sanders in his prime. That was exactly. her one shot at rebellion. You know, you know, some kids like start went, crying or pierce their noses or to change their hair to pink or whatever. This was her rebel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her moment to shine and be, you know, the rebellious. Wasn't rebelling enough when she braided her armpit hair? Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Or uh, or or went topless in a play. Yeah, I mean, she was doing everything. She was my trying, press, my press. <laughs> Trying everything to get that's no joke, guys. That's actually what she said. That, that was her line, yes. That I know. was her line. Yeah, my anybody, has that, anybody has that clip, I'll be happy to play it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's always associated with the OB and Anthony guys. Yeah, I know. Okay, so then uh, then we start talking about his guitar playing, which was really just offensive to one's ears. It really was, it was just offensive. Um, We're gonna play it, uh, but just a little bit of it oh, because thank God, oh, it's so bad. Did, he decided the song that he was going to learn this week. And I don't know why, because this is not a song that I think anybody ever really needs to uh, hear ever again is swing low, sweet chariot. Now, never heard of it. 
Swing low, sweet chest. Never heard of it. I mean, what what is this? Is, is he, he, he gonna do like well, a? Good for you, Mo. I'm glad you know. That. Is he gonna do a, a play from the 1860s? I mean, what's going on? And it's so horrible. I mean, let's see. So I think I have a teacher up here to show us how the song is actually supposed to sound. But sure. let's, let's see. Let me let me just. This guy looks like a douche already. Oh, he's an absolute douche. Hang on. I don't hear anything. But can you give a second? Do you see it circling? Do you I don't not hear anything? <laughs> Shut up, both of you. Really, you're just so annoying. All of you. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Keeps them going all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> is this their new show? I don't think it is. I don't know what's going on. Down, up. Beast, up, down, up. I recommend looping that a few times, getting used to it. Then you'll have the general feel of the rhythm. Bees, down a bees, up down a bees, down a bees. Swing low, swing. All right, then to the F chord. Okay, so that's what it sounds like when a person. Okay, yeah, it's a very harmonious, harmonious song. It's very... almost like one of those camp two, three, when you go one, to camp as a kid. Three, douchey two, uh, songs. One. My... Two, Go Wait. roll the board the show. Hallelujah. Now, now, what Howard seems to be doing is when he plays at home, well, when he plays upstairs, <laughs> he records himself. So, because that's the best he can do. He can't replicate it when he's on air, but he can record <laughs> it and then play it back to everybody to say, look at, look how good I did. Look at, look at, look at me, everybody. Look how good I am. So, here he is attempting what we just heard. That I was trying to play. Um, oh, he doesn't even remember the song. What either. was the song I was playing on guitar? It's called. Uh, oh, fuck, I'm drawing a fucking blank. I'm so tired. I can't the think. The house next door to us been so. <laughs> Nilo, sweet oh, chariot. Yeah, Negro spiritual, they call it. Now it's black American spiritual. <laughs> I know I can't. So yeah, let, <laughs> oh uh, uh, what a complete douche nozzle. Absolute douche. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Once again, he's got like 300 days a year to do this crap and he sucks. <laughs> he just does so so hard in life. He really does. So let's hear a little bit of it, shall we? Here we go. Sorry. Here we go. Hey. This is him trying to get it together. Hey. See, I'm working. Nice day. I fucked up. It's a lot of work, this finger picking. A lot of work, you guys. Um, first of all, what did he record that on? One of those kitty recorders? I didn't play it back. I guarantee you, he did it on a phone act. No, it's not to you. Yeah, and you're this guy's got billion dollars and he's just using his phone. Billion dollars, and I have a better setup in my house. Absolutely, they were close. <laughs> I'm a guitar prodigy too, just like a Tom Morello's son. Oh, geez. yeah. Well, if every other person who plays the guitar dies, you are. The <laughs> I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm writing a movie about that. The whole world is exposed to nuclear radiation and no one has hands except for me. And I've become the world's greatest guitar player. You're right. You're right, Severink uh, troll man. I know. Oh, I come on. Stop that. clicking. I want to address it. Seriously, what are we going to do for two whole months when they have to talk about something other than Howard? When we have no personality, oh, we don't, own, or any None. talent, we don't. You're right. I have no talent at all. You're right. right. We use Howard as Absolutely. a Absolutely. You're scary. You're scary talented because you're commenting you know? on a thread. Good don't for you. Don't you know we use Howard as a crutch? I have Absolutely. no life whatsoever. I, I like go row the boat ashore. I'm one of like, Hallelujah. And she's Was stuck milk and honey on the other side. Her doesn't go anywhere, and like her skin I literally comes off, and they rip her off yeah. the couch because she died, and the cats are feeding on her. That's who I am. But yeah, That's, of course I'm gonna. Stitch. What? <laughs> I, I got news for the dude I ban. <laughs> Howard hasn't had a show for many moons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're just winging. Have you been paying shit. attention? We literally do the same show every. We're literally winging day. it. 
And not, it, not because we're repeating ourselves, it's because we just we just comment on what he's see, done. I don't every day is exactly the same. the same. No, it isn't. No, there is you variations like, of garbage. Like, <laughs> like, okay, it's literally play I I, I want to play guitar. My dad sucked. And look, Beth has cats. And yeah. You mix that up any way you want. It's, it's like, like it's like you know, like DNA. We learn about DNA. There's essentially just four things that compose our nice. DNA it's that gets in a double helix and shit. That's yeah. that's us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's listen. I don't even know what this clip is, but we're gonna continue forward because because we have no lives, and this is what we do. Okay. Here we go. You know, right, that's like, your fingers, and then you got to do something to like do wrap them or like, something. Oh, oh, so okay. Wait, sorry, sorry. sorry, nah, sorry. You, See, so Robin knows what she's talking about. Oh, absolutely. She's also a music uh, genius. Absolutely. He, you know, she's she's taken multiple classes in piano, guitar, triangle. You know, she she does it all. So she's actually brilliant. In, in carrots, Weight Watchers. Yes, she's gonna all tell us. She's going to tell us exactly what Howard's doing wrong and why he's doing it. Like, you know, right, you know, that's like, your fingers. And then you got to do something like wrap them like or something. Some, or something. No, you don't. You can use it. You, like you don't get motion. hurt? Hurt. Uh, yeah, I'm hurting everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I'm We're hurting too. Guitar. You see, you got to keep doing this. And if you think that's easy, try it. Sure. You know, you gotta, you gotta really work at it. Yeah, yeah. Now, see, you gotta pick it out, and you gotta know which fingers to use. It's and he insists on telling us that his teacher says he's a year ahead of any of his other students. He doesn't tell the teacher. <laughs> Students are like seven year olds. Is so, everybody else six year olds? <laughs> seven. Right. So that's so right. So so he starts to play us like it is embarrassing. It's just horrible. It's just horrible. Um, but well, you know, all you gotta do is just say, look, I like picking at the guitar. I'm not trying to go anywhere with it. I like picking at the guitar. It makes me feel good to hold it and pick at it. That's all you have to say. But no, he, he he's gotta be the next Jimmy freaking page or Brian May. Because he's so jealous of anybody who has even a modicum of talent. That's why. He has no talent. We've realized and that now. Worse than, worse than him playing, because we all hear it with our own ears. We all heard it, Howard. So let's get Nowicki in to oh, Jesus. pull it all. Okay, wait, hold on. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. you're real good. What can I say? Thanks. You're getting great, too. For real. <laughs> you're, killing it. you're getting into finger picking like you're Freaking liar. well on your way. I, I think you're going to be killing it. See what you did with painting to see like so I put a rope on his legs. You're going to be falling. If you give me, like crazy. if you give me ten years, which I don't even know that I have enough ten of ten years of my because I'm old, but uh, which is a very freaky thing, like picking up the guitar at my age, because I'm like, well, I, I just got to accept the fact that this is just something I have to enjoy for the now, because I don't know if I'll realize the dream. The dream. The dream. He has dreams. The dream. Uh, yeah, Maria, I would love to sing Negro spirituals. Uh, or, or no, no, we sing them, and you, you as I pontificate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we get enough hate as is? Do we really want to go down that road? You know what? The that's an untested. That's an untested. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, sure, track sure. There. Why not? Why like, not? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated by it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> I'll get my sheet yeah. music out right what, now. Why don't I do a live cast from like you know East San Diego, and I'll put on some Johnny Rebel and see what happens. <laughs> in East San Diego, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the hoodie hood, That's the hoodie hood over a Euclid in, in Imperial Avenue. Oh, I think that if oh. you take on some Halia Jackson and, and stuff like that, yeah, I think that uh, I think that that would be a really thirty minutes of select Negro spirituals. That's uh, hey, we can have fun with this. Uh, can we just do a review on Song of the South while we're at it? Like Song of the South. We're gonna get copyright from this crap. Yeah, we're, uh, yeah, that would suck. <laughs> you suck. I got ding for uh, oh my, what a wonderful day. What, what are you saying? Oh, yeah. I can't hear you. I know. Well, you know, I know you're cutting in and out. You're using the you're whammy bars in and out. It's not Xavier. You're cutting in and out. I'm cutting in and out only because this man does not stop singing. Okay. Oh, that's man. exactly it. That's how electricity works. Which man? <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> talking about? Shit talking you? Yeah, I'm, I'm shit talking you. I'm shit talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Let's get, let's step outside. <laughs> mm. Scratch your eyes out. All right, you so, mind you mind from the toes down. So, so then we have Fred doing the exact same thing. Here we go. I look at my age and I go, well, you know, I might never get to like you know, I'm call in up elementary Fred and, school still. <laughs> yeah, like I would call up Fred and play with him, but I, I'm not up to that yet. You know? I think you're close. I remember yeah. that's and that's how you that's actually how you learn by playing with other people who are just like a little better than you are. Little <laughs> there's no part of it. Yeah, Tamara, they're Ooh. resting. Yeah, why, why, you, why doesn't Fred give us some more of those King Norris concert dates while he's at it? Rest easy in the knowledge that there will be no Negro spirituals. Oh darn. Uh, yeah, I think. Um, of of the two pie holes that you see to the <laughs> right. Of. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There will be none of that. All right. So let's continue on. Oh, can we, can we do some Wilson Pickett now? <laughs> so then <laughs> he tells us once again about his clarinet playing when he was in elementary school. Now, I'm not sure about all the rest of you guys, but we all had to take band in elementary school. I did not. Oh, we did. That was like, yeah. Well, I, we... I went to a little Catholic In school, sixth so grade, they let to... us play on guitar once because we're so poor. Oh, well, we all had, um, we had clarinets, we had violins and something else. Like, you know, you started, I think, on triangle and then you moved up to. Oh, to... really? And if you had any kind of talents at all, you went to violin. For for us, they, they uh, let us play on acoustic guitar. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down <laughs> your head and cry. Hang so, down your head, Tom Dooley. Poor boy, you're bound to die. Okay, so that's the I, only thing I, I learned in sixth grade. Shh, I too played clarinet horribly. Oh, did you and, really? Yeah. I, I don't Nerd play alert. I can still smell the I can still smell the reeds because you know they're made of like bamboo or fresh wood or whatever. Reeds. They and made they had reeds. all the other kids' luggies in them. No, no, no. You had to buy that. Your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Provided yeah. you with the clarinet and you had to buy your own reeds. So you got, they came in like a little package of like, you know, 20 of them or whatever. And you would use a fresh one every time. Um, ooh, and, and, ooh, hello. And, holy mackerel. Oh, hello. Hello. That's a little too close to me. So he's going to tell us a story about his clarinet solo, which all of a sudden stops being a solo and is then something that he's doing with somebody else, which tends to make me believe that it's all a crock of shit. So why? Let's listen. It's um. Yeah, I can't even remember the name of the club. I remember I took clarinet for up until sixth grade. Like I never ever practiced. And I, the teacher goes for the sixth grade graduation, you'll do a solo. And then he discovered I did. Now, what world would somebody choose Howard to do a solo? Like in what world? If, if none, you, none, none. None. Out for none. when he was banging hot chicks or what's, what, 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 what part of the lie are we in? We're in sixth grade. We're but in sixth grade hot, when he still was good looking, according to him. Absolutely. Uh, in yes. what world, though, would a teacher choose him to do a solo? Uh, without at least knowing the what the world works. inside his head, because yeah, no. not in the real world. Let's, 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 wait, wait, let's let's paint this picture. Let's paint this let's picture. Paint a picture. Okay. So this is when he claims he was with black kids, right? So essentially, you no. had what sixth grade? Yes. No, he didn't. He didn't move until he was in. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so they weren't really. So black you picture kids. this room in the sixties, and is it or six seventies, sixty seventies, and it's essentially 60s. 60s. all black kids. All of whom were playing bass guitar, and then you had him playing the clarinet, right? Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Right. Is your vision right. that I was supposed to be grabbing because I didn't get it. What? No, I'm just saying it's it's just funny. Yeah. Like, you know, he's people like him are not necessarily inclined to do um, instrument That's stuff. Of course, they're going to pick him. You stick with the puppets. All right, hang on. I didn't know how to play one note. Like they had me <laughs> solo, and I didn't know how to play one note. And it was so embarrassing. And there was a girl in my class who never played. She did the same thing. We faked because it was like an like a band thing. And so we all faked. Like I oh. never like I would just sit there and pretend I was playing. He didn't know. And then he chose me and this girl to get up in front of the sixth grade graduating class and play. And we were like, it, it couldn't go down. We didn't know how to play. 
I'm so confused. I am confused on that entire statement. I really am. I mean, this is a new fake story that has never been told before, and it makes no sense at all. Like, if a teacher's going to pick someone to do something, they would make sure the person can do something because otherwise they look like a fool. And well, or, or they wanted to humiliate him. P.S. Yeah, no, I, I not really. This is sixth grade graduation. Odds are you've already had to play in front of the class. Like, you know, you have yeah, a I mean, where the band comes on and they play some stupid song that they learn throughout the entirety of the year, or whatever, whatever. Everybody knows how to do that. Everybody. Exactly. That's what you do. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, come on. He's what, 89 years old now and he's still learning for guitar. So, so the other thing I can't imagine he what... had a, a productive semester that year in sixth grade. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the other thing. What, what are you, like 10 years old? This is 60 years ago. This is freaking 60 <laughs> so years ago. And, and and he's still talking about this when the Polacks were beating him up. Like, they, that, that's, that's that's what was happening at this point. It's Who was the president, like Eisenhower or some shit like that? Uh, no, Kennedy's president at this point. Oh, was it kill, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Kennedy, Kennedy. And actually, maybe LBJ. <laughs> okay, I love what all about the tendril says. You know what probably happened? Howard has solicited his entire writing team for their stu- school experiences, and he's oh, just 100 percent. Oh, yes, absolutely. I like that. I like it. I like it. 70 stories. So obviously, somebody must have seen that we have been talking ad nauseum about his horrific North Shore Animal League pictures, and yes. he, that he needs to make be wonderful. He needs to the greatest. make up a kind of excuse for why he looked so awful in them. So let's reflect upon those right now. Let me get to it right now. There we go. Uh, doo-loo, doo-loo, doo-loo. Oh. God. <laughs> yeah, there we are. And look, if you if you look if you look up Bob Dole, he's, you remember Bob Dole's always holding that yes, pen? Bob Dole with the pen. He totally has the Bob Dole thing going. <laughs> got the, got the, the, yeah. Bob 100%. Dole knows. Because he, he was something. a war veteran and he had an injury, yes. so he's had the pen in his hand like this. That dog actually almost has human eyes. They, they look like they were transposed yeah, on. Yeah, you're right. That, that dog's weird. like, please help me. That that's actually help help me. And, and, and like Howard's eyes look like they belong on a grouper. He's. <laughs> <laughs> and the last time he's seen a mouth like be- beefuses, it was. That's on a very fish. realistic hair. By the way. All right, so let's listen to his excuse for why he looked like such shit. You yeah, just look just, at yourself or something? No, I won't look at myself during the show. But Jesus, my wife, these pictures she takes, she always wants. Um, Honey, we were at that. No, I told you this yesterday. We were at the North Shore Animal League event. We go, and I go with a with a very, I go with a very good attitude, yeah. because you know I'm a bit of a drag and a Debbie Downer. But a bit. We go to the North Shore Animal League event. I really try to be positive because because they celebrate my wife and all of her animal rescues. Yes, it's very yes. big deal for her. <laughs> and she'll go like, "I know you don't want to go," and blah 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 blah. And I'll go, "Honey, I want to go. I want to honor you. I'm so honor happy you. to be with you." That's like I I'm, I become husband of the year, and she's so excited. It's like her prom, you know. And I put on a right. suit, and. uh and then I guess at North Shore Animal League, they must have had a photographer. Thank God I didn't. You didn't know there was a photographer, you idiot. How do you not know there's a photographer? There must have been a photographer there. I didn't know. I, I didn't know that there was a photographer there, but there must have been one. See him. Every year there's one. Because, oh, you didn't uh, you know, know these pictures were taken? Well, some of them I did. There was a red carpet red scenario. scenario. And Rachel Ray and her husband were there. And there were a lot of pictures of me with Rachel Ray and me with uh, Beth. <gasps> It just, it, he just looks brutal. Let me see if I have another one of this. And my head, I'm looking up to the sky as if like, Jesus, save me. And, oh, and no. like, <laughs> and, and you're seeing under my neck, you know, and, and, and it's like, what, what you want to say, what's Howard doing? Like he, he apparently, like, is he autistic? Like what's why his, is, yeah. Why are you looking up like that? what do you think that people who are up on like scaffolds looking for you? Like, what are you, what are you doing? He's Marfan man. That's what he's doing. Yes. Yeah, like, like, why is everyone looking in one direction except for him? And I swear to you, I don't know what that is. You don't know. Yeah. And now with the with the trip come. So now, of course, with the trip. You know what? I never noticed until right now that yeah. w- his one of his eyes is misaligned with the other. It's kind of oh, like yeah. Jason Voorhees. You know, Jason has that one eye. Yes. He, he almost has the same thing going. 
Well, he has a weird face because he has no eyebrows. So there's that. Marfan. Very yeah. light eyebrows. And it makes him look like he doesn't, like he goes from forehead straight to like bridge of nose without any, any stuff. Well, the other, well, I mean, there's so much, there's so much to talk. Oh, dear Christ. Jesus Christ. Um, do you remember well, that woman, Xavier? Do you remember when we did our walkthrough? Yes. That's of, her? Uh, North Shore Animal League. Yeah, that's her. Oh. Oh, oh Hannah. Jo Joanna Johanna Nan, something and that dude looks like Norwin. We, we sent what's it? Uh, who's the guy that did the Wolfman? We sent to the Toro, whatever his name. <laughs> he, he looks like like he got stuck halfway between a man and a wolf. <laughs> I thought it. I thought it was like uh, Fellowship of the of the Ring. Uh, I mean, that's what it looks like. It literally <laughs> looks you. like Middle Earth. I, you know what? Rachel Ray was right to wear the black. It's so slimming. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Ooh, but, uh, you yeah. know, the thing is, it's like he, he Benicio del Toro. Thank you, Autobot. Benicio del Toro. Yeah, in between, though. Yeah, he's like stuck in between that transformation. Yeah. Kind of like when they did it with Lon Chaney Jr. <laughs> but I mean, Howard, you know, the thing is, the more you look at those pictures, the more you just realize what what a skeleton he is. What an malnutrition. But not even that, but he just looks feeble. Well, he is. To me, he's though, take away, he just looks malnutrition. Feeble. He's 70, you guys. You but know, he doesn't eat I mean, well that's cool. either. That's cool, but he looks yeah. feeble as hell. I know seven year olds that can run circles around him because they oh. actually eat normal. Well, you know, funny you should mention that because I had to pull this up today just because I was like so amazed by it and I can't wait to show you guys. So this show me, show me. This is just yesterday. Okay. This is just yesterday, Mick Jagger in concert. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Howard couldn't run that far. He 80 died. Years old. He's 80 years old. This is me. The man is a amazing, like spectacle. Okay. 80 years old. 80, 80 years, years old. old. Running down the stage. 80 years old. Wow. And he's singing. And he's singing. Oh, and then he's going to a go go. 80 years old. It's it's shocking. Wow. That he can be. He can be that guy at this age. Just, just, what, what about Al? Eighty-one next month. Jesus. Holy mackerel! It's 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 it's. The it's and there's Howard who can't even hold nature. his head up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and in those North Shore Animal League Sue. pictures, you look, oh, thank you, Sue. He looks like he's got that Celine Dion stiff man, stiff person's disease. Here, here's Mick, eighty years old. He's Marfan man. Eighty years old. Look at him. He's so Good cute. Lord. He's so cute. Man, he's still popping out kids, bro. Still popping out. Hey, you know, those things he's can got, swim. He's got like a whole department that rolling stuff. The other they do is just write checks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Thank you so much. Love Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, right. wait, how old's Keith Richards? Oh man, he's gotta be up there too. He's only 82. He's older than Mick, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. I, think I right. look. I mean, look at him. I mean, that guy's a drug abuser, like on the nth degree, and he's, he's much more active. Thing. He's, he's got that Aussie what? thing where it's he's just not like a moving kind of guy, like Mick is. You know, yeah, but he's not a moving thing. But, but still, he's still I mean, more he's still active than Howard. Do know I, I mean, let's let's consider that it's Mick Jagger, and he's eighty-one friggin' years old, and I am shocked that he can that he can produce the way he does. I mean, good on him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Let me continue this clip. We're still on this clip. And of course, we're still talking about Italy. And of course, we're still talking. How how can they talk so much about a stupid trip? Like I literally, where did I go last year? Like Egypt and Jordan. Went to Egypt, yeah. I never once talked about, oh my God, we're going to take photos and we have to plan because you have to take pictures and we got to do this, we got to do that. Get uh, like, wait. Just going to go. I, I literally went and I drove a car across the country and had less discussion about and, 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 and planning I than know. this. I know. Yeah, because you guys aren't trying to fill in nine hours of, of That's true. I'm not trying to fill up my show. This is true. This is true. Let us continue, please. Hold Except on. for him. And I swear to you, I don't know what that is. And now with the, with the trip coming up for Italy, oh. Beth goes... Now listen how inane and stupid and and slightly stupid. Insane this conversation is. Stupid, stupid. I plan on taking a lot of group photos because we're going with Jimmy and Molly. And uh, I go, what do you mean group photos? Because well, 
everyone, we take group photos and you have to be in the group photos. I'm like, when did this happen that I have to be in group photos? Why can't I take the photo of you three? Why is this even a conversation? I don't even understand this. He's just a ranting an old fool. That's why. Yes. All about the tendrils. You did win. I, 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 I knew you were the winner and I collected things just for you and sent a cute little care package to you with my camel and everything, which means that you're at work. Cause I think that you, that's where you kept did your you send them opium. I did. <laughs> oh, oh, we have a special, special price just for you. Special price. So uh, I don't know why we're swinging back to this, but again, he's continuing to talk about how shitty he looks. Here we go. And I'm all dressed up in my suit, which I which I had made for my daughter's wedding. <laughs> ready, it's starting not to fit because my belly is getting bigger and bigger. Whoa, 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 stop there. Wait, wait. Exactly. Because I don't exercise enough. Yeah. All right. First of all, it's not your belly, it's that you are a skeleton. It's drowning on him. Yeah, I mean, it is like it is like three sizes too big. It yeah. Is. Literally three sizes too big at this yeah. point. It's not about your belly, dude. It's drowning on him. He literally His neck is like a homeless man. I, I mean, David Burns big suit looked more natural <laughs> than that suit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. It's just uh, I got that girlfriend who's better than that. <laughs> I mean, it's, nothing is better than this. Nothing in this. Nothing. Nothing about this makes it look like it's ill. Uh, it's not, not your belly. It's not your belly. That doesn't scream. I'm a rich dude. And it's so cute. You know, he needs to bitch about it. But meanwhile, you didn't have to wear it as a three piece. You didn't have to wear the stupid wedding walk your daughter down the aisle vest with it. You could have just worn the jacket and the pants with a you nice got, belt. You gotta remember, he's and a moron. Tie? Is this his only tie? That yeah, he one black tie. Black tie? Look how loose that thing is on him. No, anything that would make you look just like a little bit substantial, like a nice Hermes tie would have been really pretty. Ooh. Something like in a red that would counterbalance to her dress or something like that. It's like, how do you not know how to do this? Dude, that's or, the kind of tie like people wore in the early 80s if you were like totally. in the, the group of jam. There are six <laughs> you could have gone to in the Hamptons to pick out something nice. I, I, I mean, don't I mean, go, just, Melis. <laughs> you know, just walk in with a, a couple of gay guys in the thing. They're like, okay. give me a tie. Okay, boom, done. Not hey, even babe, done. Oh, here, here's a, here's done. A, or man and say, pick me a tie for this. Suit. Exactly. Sure. Breaking oh, news, man. buy more than one. Yeah. I have like a That's a novel idea. Seriously, um, I have a closet full of ties. Yeah. I don't even wear ties that often, but I have like 60 but at least of them. But if you need to be. Right. Oh, absolutely. How many of them have I have all sorts of colors. I walk every day, and I'm pretty much not eating anything. And I and I step on yes, this the thing. Your weight goes up, and do my you body walk is fast. Or do you no walk, walk fast? Whenever I walk fast, my I have to sit down. I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like oh oh oh. Wow. Um. Wow. Because I mean, he's so out of shape. He's like a veal. He is a veal. Yeah. Wow. I think I should be taking over for Ralph too. Yes, but you're the wrong sex. Sorry. Yeah. I know. Uga. Uga. And his <laughs> wife, that tacky patty, thinks that she can do something. It's just, oh, she's horrible, they can both man. put outfits on. It's, it's just really sad. <laughs> outfits. Outfits. I've never said the word outfits in my entire life. No, I've never been with a man who has ever said the word outfit. Outfits. Honey, no. should we put outfits together for our, our outfits? Outfits. Get the so you need to know, obviously, I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe he saw our GIF. I, I don't have the hubris to think that he ever has paid attention to our show. I really I think he did. Uh, I don't know. Man. Uh, yes, he did. It's kind of amazing that he would, you know, talk about, uh, talk about this. Above you, to the right of you. The, the, yeah. yeah. You know what? <laughs> It works. <laughs> it works exactly. And for years, people would say, is that really Howard in those photos? Or are they using like a cardboard cutout? Because it'd be the same picture of me. Same pose. He definitely oh, saw yeah. you, Jeff. Yeah, he saw that. Or, or saw Benjamin. Let's give credit where credit's due. He, he saw Benjamin's Jeff, and there it Absolutely, is. Absolutely, without doubt. These guys right-click and save all our crap. Yeah, this is called the love set. So just yes, it is. If you are wondering, and that was named by our friend Benjamin. And this is Howard's love set. 
that's all. That's you know, what this I want to put like a, a talking head song over that. Like, we're on a wig to nowhere. <laughs> Come on along. You can see how the wig moves we're around a little bit. Wig to nowhere. To the front there, the, those one or two curls are always right there on the forehead. It's amazing. <laughs> that is that's when someone else. <laughs> that's when Tony did it, though. But now the wig is like sitting way back and kind of cockeyed. Oh it's really 100 he looks like you know when the, when they sack the quarterback really hard and his his chin his guard his all oh, the helmet's kind of skewed that's what it looks like <laughs> <laughs> so now they're going into a conversation about the things that howard fears on go killer, qu -qu -qu so there's things that he's really nervous about and you know so they have a discussion about that and robin of course comes out with you know one of her more brilliant <laughs> Uh, and I'm nervous about the hot weather, that it's going to be too hot. <laughs> You're also and, going to be surprised at how, how long the days are. What do you mean? We were, once Gary and I were in Europe together, and we didn't even know it was like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you, mean, you mean the sun is out all the time? <laughs> it was still light outside. What the hell is she talking about? A little girl. Was she in Norway? So oh, she had to be the one time That's that her stupid, and Gary man. traveled together is when they went on that Heineken trip and they went to Amsterdam. Yes. So I looked at the weather and the time and the travel in Amsterdam. Yes. And yes. It is a little bit further north. I've been, so to, I've been to Amsterdam. It ain't that north. It just does get a little bit. Uh, oh, my sunset. God. Okay, it's 10 o'clock at night. 10 o'clock at night, which is substantial. I mean, but, but it's not. It's not two in the morning. But it's going the other way now. So this is like peak. This is peak time. And now it goes back because we've already had our summer solstice. Right. She's such a crackhead, man. So this is this is as as so, it gets. Yeah. So I looked up Florence yes. and it it the sun sets at 9 30. I mean, completely sunset, complete, you know, post light, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 9 30 at night. I mean, That's what's it. the sunset now? Let me see. Sunset. Well, here now. San Diego's like eight something, so it's not really that big of a freaking leak. Well, it's in, summer in, in Florida. Does, even does she know that the whole the south. whole tilt of the Earth thing works? No, she doesn't grasp that. It's, it's like breaking news: the Earth is what twitches, tilted like twenty something degrees, yes. which creates spring. You know, spring, summer, fall. Well, you know, I don't, I'm not understanding why she's telling him this as if he'll even she's be stupid, a, man. At that point, so he has more things he's nervous about. Let's just continue on. Okay. And the other thing I'm nervous about is uh, eating too late. No, you know that I don't. I have a they schedule. They do eat late there. Boy. Yeah. Oh, they do. They do. I'm also nervous that there won't be air conditioning in the There'll be bedroom. air conditioning wherever you are. Yeah. I hope. she's right about that. She's right. All right. And then the other thing I'm most nervous about that is I'm more nervous about this than anything is noise in the hotel. Oh my god! Because I never can sleep through noise. Jesus Christ! I can't. what a complete pussy, man. Really? All right. So, I mean, like, legit. What else could you say? So, he, you know, the thing is, the eating late, if he doesn't change his schedule that much, it will be normal time because it's six hours ahead or five hours, yeah. ahead, something like that. I forgot what the daylight thing is. It's either five or six hours. And honestly, if they eat at eight o'clock at night, that's like eating in the middle of the afternoon, you tool. I mean, seriously. Th so right now in Rome, it's 3.08 in the morning. Okay. So, um, so let's go back and say he ate at 9 o'clock. Six, six, 6 o'clock. Yeah, 6 hours. Yeah. It would be 6 hours. So that would be like him eating at 3. 3. So yeah. that should be right on schedule for him. I, I, I mean, you, I don't understand, you know. He, you know what it is? Lack. You know what it is, guys? What? It's his naps, his incessive naps. He's oh. always taking naps. And he's, he's that's what's messing him up. He has no energy. That, that's why. Yeah, exactly. But he's I mean, always doing naps. Bro. Here's the thing, though. Wait, this is the part that pisses me off most of all. When he comes back, he has nothing to do. He's Dude, still he has vacation. nothing to do now. I know, but when he comes back, he has no show. He has no meeting. He has nothing to come back to. Nothing. Yeah. 
It oh. doesn't matter how little sleep you get on this trip. He's coming. You have back. weeks to get ready. The reason he's practicing is because he's going to go on stage with Billy Joel for his final uh, appearance. Oh, and if you recall, at the end of July, something quote that Sirius wants him to do over the summer. Sure, sure, sure. Um, sure. So that's two things. That's two whole things he has. Oh my God! He will be unprepared and it'll be horrible. Two months. Two months. Jesus, <laughs> wept. I, mean, I know. I know. Okay. It's going to be psychotic. I, I mean. You're going Ooh. you're going to Italy yeah. for the first time at 70 years old. Honestly, you should be sleeping like four hours a night. I mean, you just enjoying as much of it as you can. Yeah. But he's such a tool that it just it, it, it boggles the mind. It really does boggle it's the mind. It's almost like he's on the spectrum. Remember, oh, he remember is. when uh they told Rain Man that he wasn't wearing his underwear or something like that? And he just freaks starts freaking out. He has to have that routine, that old man waiting to die routine. Yeah. And it's like, rather than go, listen, let's go. When we get there, we get there. I'll sleep if I want to sleep. I won't no. sleep if I want to. Let's no. just keep going. Well, you know, whatever. He's, there's nothing holding him back. Money-wise, schedule-wise, anything. There's right. He's got nothing to come back to. Nothing. So what the hell? Yeah. Jeremy, if anything, go, go from there. Go to Japan. Go to South America. Go do something else with your life. Happen. No, nothing happened. is holding him back. He also did happen to mention today that he's not going to wear shorts while he's there. He's going to wear his big gigantic SPF <laughs> fifty hat. Sure. Um, <laughs> and wear pants. Did we did we actually check on the weather in Florence? Did we see? It, it's getting warmer. It's in the nineties. Oh, and it's humid. It's as humid as Florida, because it it does. That's the thing. It gets very humid. It gets very oh, humid. Absolutely. In the Do that Mediterranean freaking. That's why your skin's so nice back there because there's just all yeah. you don't have to worry about drying out. July is the hottest month of the year in Florence. Yes, it is. And it's humid as hell. Actually, it's oh, nothing. I looked at the love forecast. It. I it's hope he wears his leather jacket the whole time. humidity the entire time. Summer, it's going to be miserably, and miserably hot. hot. I love how hot it is. I love that for him. It's, and he's going he's gonna to be leather the whole time. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you know what? With his stupid hat and his sketches. <laughs> what a freak. It's like, you know, if you didn't want to stand out, like a <laughs> giant fucking pencil with a I tell you, dude, on the remember, top remember, was it two this weeks ago when we did that whole element, Elephant Man shtick? That's yeah. going to be him, bro, with the burlap <laughs> mask on him with one eye. Pass your <laughs> eyes away. And the villagers running behind him. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I'm not an animal, my human being. I'm not an animal. <laughs> it's going to be him, dude. It's going to be the burlap. He's going to have that little... That little golf hat that the, the dolphin <laughs> man wore. <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful. Oh, God. Gonna be, I pray, be like, I pray somebody is there and takes pictures of it. Pray, I because there's gonna be a lot of Americans 100%. there. So yes, they'll take pictures. And it's gonna it be, be like great. when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie <laughs> at the Wigga. That'd be horrible. All right, so we're going to come back. We have so much Italy to talk about tomorrow because I can't, I cannot wait to talk even more than we have already about Italy when Jimmy comes in tomorrow with Molly and with Beth. Okay, so it, it's, tomorrow is an absolute tune in day because you know it's going to be taken down. Just yes, you- yes, yes. We're giving away a free car. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and actually, Brizzo, if you are, the, to, if you are the 1051st freaking guy to log in to our show tomorrow, sure, 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 sure. Go, Dennis. Briz- Brizzo, a Brizzo is asking if they wear shorts. Of course, they wear shorts when it's yeah. hot out, dude. They wear speedos, bro. <laughs> Everybody wears shorts when it's hot, and it gets hot yeah. in Italy. Yeah, the only time you wear jeans, well, especially in like Rome and Florence, is because you most people. And even then, I mean, most people are on their scooters and, you know, they go down sometimes. So, yeah, the Vespa. a little bit better for that. The but, Vespa. um, but no, not uh, every listen, everybody knows it's hot. That's just the way it works. It's just hot. I mean, They're wearing cute little crochet tops with shorts and yes, yes, yes. You know, little wedgie heels, which is so yeah. cute. It's just a cute look. Well, and, everybody wears sneakers. And Beth with her like $33,000 bag. Uh, <laughs> They are absolutely going to go shopping. She's absolutely going to try and get into the hundred uh, percent. You know what? Hey, can I do a Trump? Russia, if you're listening to this show, hack her bank account. <laughs> You'll be greatly rewarded. <laughs> I hope they get pickpocketed. Oh, really bro, I, yeah, yeah, like, end of Jim. 
like, I guarantee, like one of them's identity is going to be stolen while they're there because they're, they're oh, really that's cool. with their cards. They're never going to be with the populace. They're, 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 no, they're gonna, but I mean, come I know, on, these guys know patsies. They're going to be transported everywhere. They're not going to have any time to like interact with actual human beings. Damn. You know, you know the way they get work. robbed in, Honestly, in Rome. If, if Jimmy is still friends with him after this whole thing, I'd be shocked. He is. I he's a whore. It. He's a whore. He doesn't care. Uh, the whole thing's going to be a joke to him. So let's talk about this freak baby alien. So we didn't bring this up yesterday because who cares? Uh. Um, but of course, I had to look him up, and you know uh, why. I, had I to. saw a picture of that. That was I thought it was like they're bringing some sort of Riley Martin skit back. Yeah, I know. The mail yesterday was about Baby Alien. No, it wasn't. Who was on oh, the show? Oh wow! Oh wow! Baby I Alien thought about Baby Alien, and <laughs> I hope he's really in love and gets out of the porn business. What? Did Jason send you any of his porn? He sent it to me. No. Oh, no, yeah. I, I asked not to. Yeah. What did Pretty you see? Pretty fucking weird. Uh, really attractive gal. Okay, we have no interest in this, but let me show you what the play by play is. is vile, so that you may appreciate what this thing uh, looks like and is. So, hang on a second. Let's go to the TikTok. Ah! So that you can see what this is. I thought, what just happened? Oh, it was good. It was like right. good, good, good. So you just had your slim, first thick. <laughs> I felt like frozen. Like, whoo, I was like, ooh, pop, 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 pop. let it go, let it go. So I like, oh so I God. let it all go. You did? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, That's you let crazy. it go. Ladies, what do you guys rate Baby Alien today? Can I give you a thousand? I was going to say, can we give you a thousand? Okay. This dude's been on the internet for a long time, bro. Yeah, I love that. Oh, that hard. This is old. A yeah, thousand? Oh, disgusting. You girls are disgusting. This is old, bro. That, that hey, dude was a novelty when, back when uh, Angry Birds was a thing. Hey, but you have to know that Wolfie's entire job is to find freaks that so he... Hopes. His job is to find content from, like, 2015? Yes. Why does it have to be? It doesn't have to be new. It doesn't oh, have to be content. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> this was October of last year, but okay, I'll give you. I'll give you I, I can't wait for ten years uh, from now when they discover Wolfie. the Hawk Tua girl. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Well, she'll be she'll Hawk Tua girl is going to ride this right into an OnlyFans account. This is excellent. Uh, I can't wait. Trajectory from just being interviewed for a minute to OnlyFans will be extraordinary. This oh, is going to be great. I can't wait. I, I I can almost say by let's go with end of July she'll be on OnlyFans. I Excellent. give her a month. I give her a month. Does this mean, does this mean that the Blumpkin girl's time is up? You can only sell. Yes, something. it's past. Sorry. <laughs> Hats. Uh okay, let's move on a little bit now, please. Baby alien. So in their office, apparently, because clearly nobody has anything to do no. at the Howard Stern show. Um, they have a music contest that they do, and they do like Why? I don't know because they have nothing else to do, they have nothing to do. I heard this, wait, I heard this this morning, and I was confused. I mean, literally, absolutely confused listening to this live. And I know. I'm like, Why? Why? What, 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 what content is this? None that works here. I love them all, but they're, they're they have horrible music taste. They said, um. They had a, they had some kind of internal contest going on, and one of the categories in their contest was best cover song, and they voted <laughs> "Hurt," uh, the Nine Inch Nails song "Hurt" by, by the Johnny Cash version. Johnny Cash, and it's insane. Who would vote for that? Is he kidding? Years. That's like a thousand times better than the original. Are you kidding? It's, me? Not, it's not even close. It's not even close, you guys. Like mm-hmm. seriously, it's it's probably one of the best covers ever of a song is, yeah yeah Quite literally, i mean johnny it would be easily the top five of all time because yeah, johnny cash really it, 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 it the emotion of him doing oh, that is going his, how old he was and he just killed it yeah. i mean because it's johnny cash just you know people don't younger people don't realize he was a badass he went to prison absolutely he, not not jail he went to prison yes, he did I mean, so this this he was he was kind of a he was kind of you know he was pretty badass guy. Dude. He was a tough guy, and yeah, the, he, the was, he was he was he was legit. He was legit. Yeah, exactly. like, wait, wait, he there's no fake in the dude. No, no. he is legit. He is. You get ten percent off your order. 
Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, there's Johnny Cash. <laughs> You're the badass. But but not to Howard because he not doesn't Howard, know Johnny cool. Cash. So Dude, Howard is so full of shit, man. He doesn't understand Johnny Cash. He doesn't understand. I mean, it, Johnny Cash did a great version of Hurt. It was very sentimental and everything. But the original Hurt is so much better than the no, Johnny Cash version. No, no, no. Who, Chris voted on that. You should fire most people that work here just based on yeah. their musical taste. He's <laughs> really bad. Yeah, and wow. it's really upsetting. And yeah. they all vote in tandem and collude with each other to win these games. Terrible. So yeah, they have these games and they just play games because they honestly, when you have seven Killing time for twelve hours of show, yeah, I mean it boggles one's mind. Wait, think about this: they the next it. two months, they have to go to work. What are they and working on, it's, dude? Can you imagine what a sweet gig that is? Oh, they stare, really stare, stare at the nothing. wall. I guess I would be playing South Park Phone Destroyer all day long. <laughs> I would. Oh, there's not another thing that I would be doing. I would be on my phone playing games all day. I'd long. be on Summit's website, <laughs> ordering car like parts, making believe that I'm working. You know, furiously <laughs> playing with my mouth as if I'm doing something. Hopefully, with my screen to the door so I can see anybody who's walking in because that's the way it should work. But yeah, I wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't do anything the whole time. They I, don't. They don't. They of don't course. do anything for the one stupid phone call that Richard and Sal do. And for the three times that they're on for the entirety of the year, they really, they really drag this shit out. They, they make him believe that it takes them days, uh, hours and hours of time, weeks, to come up with weeks. like a minute's worth of content for the show. And so they all have him believing that that's how the productivity in that office must be at like 0.3%. But so I got a mean, feeling that's they, coming to an end with the next contract, man. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens. It, it, I mean, it would be interesting. I mean, we keep we've said it a couple times, like there's no way they can continue to give them oh, they will. a scratch for what they put out. And but at this point though, they got then they got freaking uh you know, like uh Sally May calling them every day to pay their bills and shit. No, I mean, the company they're getting paid. Who gives no a shit? the company? The guy that's gonna the company is gonna eventually write the check that gets them to, the checks written. You know what? All they're they not they doing so well. Ride the wave. They just no, no, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, absolutely. I mean, their productivity makes Greek productivity look awesome. I oh mean, God, seriously. Man. I mean, they they do they do literally nothing. I mean, nothing. I've never seen an office do so little. Well, Seventy people. What they do, but with what they do is not anything. It's busy work. It's kind of it's busy work. I remember there used to be times where we were kind of slow in the office. And, you know, we would just, uh, you'd look at a print and, you know, maybe you'd make it in purple and then say to yourself, ah, maybe I'll do it in like green and orange and maybe I'll twist this. Th and we would just do bullshit because we knew we weren't busy. So yeah. you just do bullshit work, which is literally giving like zero percentage well, when you could be doing something else. I, I had a conversation the other day and I realized, you know, all these times I was doing finance stuff, honestly. If I really worked 20 hours a week. Yeah. Solid. That hours, was a lot. Right? Yeah. That same. was a lot. If I worked 20 hours a week, same. I traveled a lot. So that was like really built into it. So I always considered myself to, you know, waking up at like four in the morning to catch a six o'clock flight to, you know, go and do a dog and pony show in the middle of like Wisconsin, you know, then fly Ooh. home that night and just All barely right. make it into bed. So I could walk. Ah, up. Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. Yeah, nobody sings that song. I don't even know that that exists actually in the real world. Go to get some I don't think yeah. it's about Wisconsin. That's cheese anything. and some large women. So uh, I mean, let's, like cheese. Let's okay, so yeah, and they all wear cheese heads. Oh my god, during football season, yes. literally like couples will have matching like cheese on and their cheese heads in real life. Like actually, yeah, oh absolutely, yes, yes. You go to work. Can, can we uh, can we do snurch hats? <laughs> Just a snurch. Snurch. We just a snurch. No, no, you make it up. No one will know any different. It just has to be a right. It just has to be the right font. Yeah, yeah, snurch. Yeah, yeah. I know Autobot and Al would do it, wear one. Sure yeah, if, it, hopefully it's faster than my assistant. I'm still waiting. <laughs> I'm gonna ground her soon. <laughs> is, is she is she one of those street engineers that just she sits there and stares at the shovel for like eight hours? And calls it <laughs> Pretty much. She's, I think she's gonna be a union worker. There uh, you go. Sweet. <laughs> 
in New York uh, working on a high rise. <laughs> exactly. Um, so then Howard decides he needs to tell us that Robin's makeup is absolutely beautiful today. And um, Apply sure that, that yourself, have... or does someone uh, apply that well, for you? Oh, do you apply that well, yourself, or makeup somebody artist? apply it for you? I don't know. I wow. You do a good job. <laughs> How did you learn? You watch uh, someone else do it, and then you apply it? No, I had a uh, makeup artist teach me a long time ago. Wow. Because it seems like a... A really like, long time ago. I mean, it doesn't seem like an easy thing to do to get your eyes to look like that. I mean, it seems like well, you need to know what you're doing. Well, it is artistic. It's, yeah. it's um, you know, but it's about as much art as I'm ever going to do. It is artistic. Let's see. Let's yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take a look at this uh, disaster. Is this is uh, around the same time that they were teaching yeah. my Mae West how to do shit? I know what you're saying. Uh, I know. I'm going to tell Let me see if I can find. Here's the, here's, uh, here's, ah. here's, all right, all right. Here's the, here's yeah. here's, can we zoom in on that? 106, 108, 107, 107, 107. So what? So what? Wait, wait, stop. You know what's funny to me? Oh, motherless twat. Jesus Christ on the cross. Oh, I'm so sorry. Jesus wept. I'm coming back. I know. I'm going to tell it to you on the air. I know you know yeah. it. So what? You just like sticking a knife in my fucking back. The no. You know what's funny to me? All right, I, I can't see anything behind those Harry Carey glasses. Let me take a picture. Oh, should I put mine on so I can, I can be like her sister? I, I mean, it, when's she gonna start singing "Take Me Out to the Ball Game"? Oh, I one, mean, a, a two. two, a three. So artistic, so artistic. I, Makeup artist taught once her. Once again, why can't she get a good wig? Everybody knows it's a wig. She said it's a wig. Get a good wig, bro. I know you can actually see the glue line right here, but okay. Oof. But okay, sure. Me, like wet and pl pleasant for most people, even if you have major differences, the least offensive topic you can talk about is the it goes berserk. Nine degrees in Texas too. Oh I mean, my god, I can't believe they're still talking about this shit. Oh yeah, they still are about the weather. <laughs> yeah. Taylor Swift is embarrassing. Floor, she swept off her feet. You look beautiful, Robin. You do. You just. You just a thing of beauty. The, okay. hottest, the hottest girl in power. By the way, that, that lamp is atrocious, too, by the way. That's gonna... lamp. And then she's got that SpongeBob square pants house on the right. She's oh got... my God. She's got the, uh, she's got her, uh, Steven. She's got her books right there. Is it Steven Singer? Yeah. She's yeah. Steven Singer roses here. And those she's, are the books. She's got the vegetation book there, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh what... my God. And then Cooper's this alive. Is embarrassing. What is this one right here? I don't know. It's how to but speak. Can we zoom in? Can we enhance? Can we enhance? Enhance. 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 Oh, it's Miss America. No. And this covers a life. No, this is private. This is uh this is his new stupid book, which I can't remember. Oh, it comes again? Yeah, how it comes again. This I don't know what it is. It may be a landmark book. Is that like a Riley uh, symbol? Uh look yeah. <laughs> There's only so many pork chops we can eat. There's only so many pork chops a man can eat. <laughs> no, we don't know what that is. We don't know. Um, okay, let me get to my next. It's obviously a symbol. <laughs> she is part be obvious. She's on screen. <laughs> and the other half is reptilian. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Next, I want to talk really quickly and get angry about uh blit taking jd to paris i'm angry about everything about this, this is stupid seriously i'm not really understand first off i know people have said that blitz father's in the porn industry in canada and that's why where his money comes and from. i don't believe and that to be true I, I do i did a little deep dive on it though and i didn't see his name associated with that particular blit in canada at all now that doesn't mean it's not true well, does he have a, a one of those names though does it well, blit? Um, uh, yes. Is that true? There are many blitz. It doesn't mean it's not true. Just don't know. I think it is true. Wait, wait, wait. The other Eric part is that not around. was was that was that guy in Montreal area? Who blit? Yeah, the blit. That's the porn guy. Was he yeah. Montreal? Yes. So also this blit is from Montreal because he speaks French. Um, yes. There's a little too many quinky dinkies. Okay, that's too many quinky dinkies for my like liking there. That's two coincidences. One that, that, that makes that makes a thing. Means he would speak French. 
nonetheless, I did look it up and I, I didn't see anything. And I just said, that doesn't mean it's not true because it is, um, it is shocking to me that it, now Jonathan Blit is paying for this whole trip, by the way, other than he is? airfare, they're staying at an Airbnb. Um, and he's it, not paying the airfare and it is during the Olympics. He's not paying the airfare it's because stupid. JD had an upgrade. I said, I said, it, everything but the airfare. Yeah, it, which is insane because no way JD can aff- afford real airfare when when they're when the Olympics are going on flying into France. Well, shockingly, I then looked up how much it was costing to go to France, and for the dates that they're going, let's say they're going for a week in animal class, it was only like eight hundred dollars. And I, no, no, that's not what he's flying though. He's flying business class. Nice. I understand. I understand that, but the uh, the initial fare is only like eight hundred dollars, which surprised me um, because that ain't bad. That is not, not great. Is, not is great. that in Canadian money? No, no that's a thousand Canadian. Are you sure? Well, yeah, let's listen to a little bit about this first. So hang on. And what's your next big assignment, Blit? You're going to take JD out to France. Huh? Oh, yeah. When's that happening? Next week? No, no. July. I wish. July 23rd. We are flying overnight. The Paris. real France. The real. The real Paris. The real France. Yeah. Yeah. JD's real. Real excited about it. Yeah. Well, what, did he talk to you about it, Ron? I just heard some things. He, he's really thrilled about it. What'd you hear? <laughs> <laughs> he's not that he's not thrilled about it. right <laughs> are you freaking out jd because you don't like to travel you're like me oh well, yeah i i uh <clears throat> yeah i don't uh i first of all it's i'd be better if it was an english speaking country i'm i don't like to <laughs> go to places where i don't know how to speak english so i'm a little nervous about that and of course bl- i don't like to go to places where i don't know how to speak english but knows what a, what a moron and, uh he won't tell me anything of what we're doing he won't. Uh, he won't tell me. He won't even show me like where we're staying. So, <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> so I'm not sure if JD realizes that nobody's laughing with him. They're laughing at him. And no, he doesn't know that. He's a moron. You're basically, a whack packer to Jonathan. You are his. You are like Wolfie is to um, you know any one of those. Bigfoot, exactly. Bigfoot. You know, he always has it come across like everything's beneath him, even though he probably smells like bad cheese. Who? JD? I cannot. JD? Everything was like, JD. oh, I don't. Oh, I don't. I don't. Even when they were offering him that directing gig, remember for that whatever loser show? Yeah. Yes. And he was like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, dude, really? Really? I, I don't feel sorry for him, Rick. I hate him. Oh, I, who, oh I, yeah. I, I don't feel sorry. Is there he's anybody who actually does, though? I despise of Blit as well. So the two of them. Now, here's the thing. They're going to do this trip. The fact that it might even be played by the end of the year will be a shocker. Don't you remember Blit uh, had them do like this whole thing down the Delaware? They went camping. They did this whole Six months thing. later. Six months later, 10 minutes on the air. You know. That was I- it. Is this a wrong thought that I'm I'm hoping I'm 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 actually rooting for the terrorist? Terrorists. <laughs> Hamas, if you're listening, you will be greatly rewarded. Yes. You know, there'll be more than 40 th- virgins. <laughs> we'll, we'll throw in an extra virgin just for you. Exactly. We'll get a bonus virgin. Yes, of yes, yes. course. We can make you know, these things happen. Blit is trying to insist that JD. So JD upgraded his ticket to business class. Yes, business class. And, and now and now Blit is trying to have him upgrade to first class. Now, I will tell you that I have been on many a plane in the last couple of years and yes. there really isn't a lot of like first classes per se anymore. It's like business class and then everything else. Well, it depends on the size of the, bo- of the, on the, of the boat. <laughs> but most of them that are like seven, seven, seven <laughs> and below really do have just like a really big built up business class because that's what more people can afford than first class. And there is no first class unless you're what on. What like- you do is you t- take a red eye and some ambient and you're good. Nonetheless, here's the conversation. And I, I, I'm hating that they make enough money to do this. Yeah, it's going just to like be on the plane with the, with yeah, that was only the beginning with the, the plane shit. Oh, that's another thing. Fucking Blit keeps wanting me to upgrade to first class. And, <laughs> oh, it's a long flight. Do you, what you want to do? Lay down? No, it's another fucking thousand dollars. I already upgraded once for him. I'm not doing do it, it again. Man. Do yeah, it. Do it. Hard. That's all I fly now. First class. That's mm-hmm. it. Do I'm it. not. Money. <laughs> Jesus. It's another grand. I'm not doing it. I already paid so another eight hundred in the business. Can you sleep oh. sitting up? Okay, business class has laid down seats, you big yeah. stupid morons. 
Yeah, um, I, I mean, all you need is a window, and you just tilt a little, a little bit, and you're out. No, no, he he's in business class. He will be laying down. No, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you can't lay down in business, but yeah, he'll have a nice little fat, I, I, fat I, seats. All Most business class now is that way. All lay down now. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah. Not like the not like the last trip I took to Italy where I had to sit. I was sitting basically in coach because that was the entire plane. And um, yeah. Was it one of those like where it's like uh, two seats, then like uh, six seats, then two seats kind of? No, it was like three seats, sevens? three seats, four seats, three seats. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's the worst. Um, so I was looking at flights, and interestingly enough, I mean, look, look at Air France, seven hundred and forty dollars round trip for economy, which I was surprised. Believe me. Yeah, but what's what's business class? Hang on, I'm gonna go there for you right now. Please. Let's do up. that now. Let's go to business. Let yeah. us update. So business. Holy Jesus! Yeah. So it's a two thousand dollars more for business class. Um, the fact that there would even be first class is actually kind of surprising to me, but let's go there. And so it's 2,600, let's say for, um, business. And then let's go to first. Yeah. Probably another thousand, another $1,300. This is actually a surprising airfare to me, $4,000. Why is that surprising? Because it seems, it seems low. It seems a little seems low. low. My God. It seems a little low for first class. I mean, it seems... It seems about right, I guess. It's a little guess. high, but then again, the world we live in. Uh, let me look at the flight. So it's a 777, so it's a perfectly nice flight. Let's look at the seat. Oh, the 777 oh. first class. Those are the best, man. Hopefully the pieces stay together. That's what we were talking about the other day. Would you like a hot towel? Some uh, peanuts? Warm nuts. Warm nuts. Warm nuts. Oh, those are oh, dude. Warm nuts. It's such a great feeling when you sit down and it's like that cubicle. Nothing bad. You know? The whole and they really start giving you like you know like like drinks and stuff. That's nothing better. But the fact that they're yeah, all flying so first class to Europe is kind of shocking to me. And the fact that Ronnie is like, oh, that's all I do now. It's like, uh, yeah, on spirit. Yeah, I don't know. The spirit, spirit. Spirit, spirit first, first taxi, class. The taxi cab in the sky. <laughs> it's the only chair that's not wicker. <laughs> All right, final clip of the day. Here's the end of the show. Here we go. Anyway, hey, tomorrow should be interesting. We'll be talking Italy, Molly and Jimmy. Oh, well. See how that goes. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course we're going to be talking Italy. What are you talking about? <laughs> tomorrow? I'm really going to do it. forward to it. Yeah. I, I am and I'm not, you know, because I realize I'm the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be. Are. I'm really going to behave. I'm going to do the best no. I possibly can. No, you uh, don't. Yeah. No. And who Fingers knows? Maybe crossed. tomorrow. By the way, Sal did uh, get in touch with Ralph, who died. For those of you who are true fans of the show, you know Ralph. And uh, for those of you who are true fans of the show, you know Ralph. He just died, like last year. He just died. Uh, Sal did communicate with him, and we recorded the seance. And maybe tomorrow you'll get to hear that. It'd be nice to hear from Ralph and find out. Absolutely nothing. I'm shocked. There you he go. Said he wasn't going to. Yeah, it's something happened. <laughs> he, he contacted. He him. needed content oh. for the show. A whole ridiculous, idiotic conversation. <laughs> so usually, you'll be privy to it. Uh, gate one travel, Robin. Let me. Uh, <laughs> there you go. End of show. Jesus, I mean, this was. It was literally just filling time today. It, it really was just filling time. We, we actually didn't do all the victory laps because there was a oh, victory yeah. lap for Wendy. There was victory laps for everything that happened yesterday. Yeah. For like 35 minutes. Everything just, is a victory lap now. Yes. Victory lap. Just woo. You know, and, and, you know, the whole talk in the beginning about Tom Morello, that actually went on for 25 minutes. Yeah. We really condensed it down. I mean, it, it's truly amazing how they, and, and the blit, the Blit JD thing was 35 minutes. They slaughter time. I mean, and they the take Ronnie time. And the heat thing was like a half hour, 40 minutes. Yep. Ronnie and the heat and thing. Again, back to like him and who's that stupid guy? Mike. Is it Mike? Uh, Mike Rainer. No, it's not. That's no, not. Mike. Um, no, maybe it's not even Mike. No, no. Oh, God. You got it. You got my mind all. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Yeah. He, he, he he's the, another Jujine. Still um, talking about bagels. Still talking about him stealing bagels. Still talking about. 
I mean, it's just enough already. I guess this is why we can't play this stuff. It's just, it's just, and, you know, and the thing is, it, it's like, you know, they had a fake caller come in and set up the bit with Ronnie. Yes. yes. And, and it's Perlman. That's it's the other Eugene is Perlman. Yes. And, and it's just like, it is just like, okay, enough. I mean, even Ronnie's at the point now where, he, he it doesn't matter to him anymore, so he basically just doesn't get he doesn't play along, which is great. He still gets paid though. He gets paid, but he doesn't play along. He doesn't care. Mike Perlman, thank you so much. Mike, per, yeah, Perlman. Um, but you know, more like pearl just, necklace. But you know, the funny thing is, is that last June in in Vegas, it was actually cool. It was it was cool till July. It was this year. It came normal. Can't make what? fun of that. Can't make fun of that. Can't make fun of that. No. Yeah. I've been in Vegas where it is actually like sprinkled little snow. It's been so cold. So oh, I've been there in oh, uh, during the winter. It gets Christmas. cold as f there. Oh, I've been there at Christmas, and where my mom Ooh. lives, <clears throat> it was in the twenties. I mean, seriously, it but was. It's that desert cold where it just goes straight to your bones, man. Yeah, it was not pleasant. It's, I'm yeah, like, exactly. This sucks. And then, then it snowed the next morning. Go, this really sucks. Look at Mo's huge nose. It's shocking. Wow. <gasps> it is. <sighs> It's so shocking. I'm shocked. Uh oh. Let's let's stop the show. No more show for us. Everybody, just Thank time you, out. Dude. Time out. Let me reflect on my nose for a second. Let me just. Should I cry? Should I laugh? <laughs> what should I do about that? Con what should I do about that? Everybody, look at my nose. It's shocking. It's shocking. <laughs> I've decided I'm going to embrace all you losers. Okay. Because yes, 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 yes. you, you, there's, you just, you just, you're just stupid. Now talking yeah. about, I just have like to bring, touche. because there's some people on the talk machine that I hate so much that I, I have to, I have to get it off my, off my chest. Um, so I was looking up that alien dude and I came across these people and I, I don't think I could hate a family more. Which family is this? What the Manson family? Oh, and she left. It was so distracting. She had a leave. Oh wow! Hey, That's welcome terrible. to the Mr. Whisker Show. You have a great show for today. We have official guest Jackie Chan. Ah, shit, she's back. I don't know why that happens. It's weird. It's my mouse. My mouse just like well, it's it's, that, uh, it has a mind of its own, and I it, guess just, it does. It just wants to do really bad things. So okay, here's the family. I, oh, I, now I'm all confused. What's going on here? What happened? I just did something really stupid. It's okay. My mouse did something. Oh, I'm better now. Uh oh, uh oh. All right, we're falling apart, guys. Come on, almost there. Almost there. Here's the family. This clip has over a half a million views, and I'm angry now. I hate them. I, I, hate, I hate them already. Oh, I, I I hate the kid. I hate everything. Daddy, I them. really want a Big Mac. Where Rizzler, where did you come? Oh, we're yeah. Costco guys, of course. Any monster? What? Well, this is some uh, really want truth and beauty. I really want a Whopper. How are we going to work this out? I got an idea. This is a Big Mac. Why are we doing this? A Whopper. I hate them. the bottoms of doom. And the tops I hate of boom. This hate is them. the Whopper Mac. Let's see where it ranks on the boom meter. Oh, gosh. I hate them. I hate this kid. Five no. Douche. Big Justice really brought the boom the to eyebrows. this thing. All right, okay. let's see where it stacks up on the boom. Oh, meter. I'm repulsed. I couldn't be more repulsed by a human being than I am of this. You know, thing. the only thing that would make this more douchey oh, is he had the hat on backwards. Fast food hamburger goodness going on there. Five out of five boom. Go ahead, go for it. Boom, boom, boom. Douche. Boom. boom. Oh, we're still watching this. Ten Dude, where's the girl with the big cans again? Look at him. Look at him. Shopping while eating chicken bake. Look at him trying so hard to retain so some sort of. Of course, we have to try the new double chunk chocolate cookie. We're Costco oh guys. God. Of course, we have to try out the furniture. Oh, oh I hate, hate them so. Daddy, I really want a Big Mac. Oh, I hate you so much. I hate you. I hate. Oh my God, holy douchebags! Oh I mean, Jesus. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh wow. My God. Wow! Has teacups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, yeah, yeah. All I got. I, I, uh, I. Wait, wait. Are we gonna talk about Jimmy Kimmel's anniversary today? 
We did. You were. You were. Oh, oh yes, that's when I was for a miss. It started. Damn it! That's when I was on. I was trying to. We talked we about that the on house air? Back together. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. We did. Yes, no, we, we didn't. We started with it, didn't we? No, we did not. Yes, we did. You no, showed it to not. us, but I mean, I was. I, I think that was before the show. The show. So, hey, chat. Did we talk about Jimmy Jim Jimble Kimble? And, and, and oh, and Car- oh yeah, we did. Car- I think we did. Yeah, did you Car- it was so long ago. I'm taking crazy pills. Are you guys out of your mind? I feel well, like I'm taking remember, crazy I, pills. I I'm for sorry. Five minutes, that, so I mean, you guys could have done clip. it. Yeah, Carmel. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, the yeah, Car- Carmel. Thank you, that, Autobot. That, that last clip really kind of oh, just God. disoriented me. This yeah. too squared. I mean, it was too much. So yeah, okay. So let's be excited for tomorrow. Um, oh, I'm very excited because okay. it's going to be on the air. I'm kidding. And listen, Dennis, just 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 FYI, you don't have to tag me in. I am I am heightenedly aware of the show unless there's something so amazing. I have to be out at uh 8:45 tomorrow. So, wait, wait. At night? No, in the morning, silly Billy. Oh. So I won't be listening <gasps> live. Oh, uh, so at 8:45 tag you and tag you as often as possible. Okay. Do, 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 do. Are tagging me at like quarter to nine if it's anything worthy. Oh, it's gonna be by then. It's gonna be all on, baby. It's gonna be. It's gonna be all on. Yeah, because I think Jimble will be on for the whole show, right? I think. Oh, absolutely. And Jimble, Jimble. So that means that they're probably already there at their house. Yes. I wonder. Hang on. No more candle. Instagram. Yeah, you've had enough candle. Enough yes. candle. Enough candle. Sure. What's going on, stupid Graham? Hold on. Maybe we'll see if something's on. Let's stupid see. Sometimes you, oh my it's a dead God. giveaway. Are we actually? Are we actually going to do this? Gonna yes, do we it? are. No, I'm, I'm already there. Right on my phone. Hold on. No, uh, Jimbo no, we just have a psychotic picture. That's all we have. One psychotic pic, though. That's some weird shit going on in that picture. Bro. Oof. Oh dear God. Did everybody? Did everybody, oh, did everybody see this pic, though? Is she wearing one of our shirts? <laughs> it, it, it almost it's almost that it kind disturbing. of looks like the uh, uh, our version of her cat all right here, the, here we go clock. so this is this is psychotic i mean this is psychotic what are we looking at this show this picto the picto it's a picto of beefus that's that's crazy i mean look at that eye look at the eye L- she look likes pictures of herself you know that right i know but this is instead that is that's like on even on its scale that's like cuckoo <gasps> precious mama you are literally in the best hands safe and loved cannot wait to see what her little nuggets will look like look at that look at that look at the uh clavico though that clavico let me let me, let me see if i could pull it up on the big on the big screen put it up on the big screen okay <laughs> Before we leave, can we mention the fact that Jimmy's son just recently had heart surgery and now he's over in New York hanging out with the Stearns? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Let's That's see what's a, going on, on Jimmy. Some good parentage right there. Oh, on? absolutely. They're the best parents. Greatest parents. Remember, he ditched the first two kids. Absolutely, he did. <laughs> he did. Oh, new- more on Hinge stuff. Five there you go. You has not done anything since uh, five days ago. Thank you, Carol Burnett, for giving me the honor of honoring you. An exceptionally well-deserved and long-overdue handprint and footprint ceremony in Hollywood. Is that Molly? No, right? That's Laura Dern, it looks like. Yeah, that's it not It looks Molly. like the it's chick from pretty. My Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that is, nor do I care. Yeah, no, God, God, what an absolute tool. tool. He is an utter an absolute tool. Tools, all of them. Oh, my God, he's such a tool. I'm glad you're caring for your kid. I mean, I, 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 I honestly... I wouldn't be able to leave the house. I mean, dear Not God. Him. You tool. Well, it's, that's probably how much he actually interacts with his kid to begin with. Well, apparently he's okay. When was this? This was this weekend. If you click on it, it'll give you the date. Seventh. So it's about a month ago now. He, about a month. Major heart surgery. Oh, yeah. Major heart surgery. You know, about deuces. Third, third major heart surgery. Jesus. Did he go, hey, au revoir. Oh, no, that's French. <laughs> Sorry. Ciao. I'm sorry, <laughs> Ciao, bambino. <laughs> Ciao, bambino. <laughs> too soon. Too soon, David. Too soon. <laughs> all right. I guess we're done. So that's it. That's all we got. And um, yeah. <sighs> oh, man. I know. <sighs> tomorrow's good. But at least tomorrow's going to be entertaining. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I because guess. Jimbo Kimbo will just blurt stuff out. And Molly is probably already very irritated. 
and not even prognosticate. Well, let's just leave it. I can't wait that. though. Just, I mean, can't wait. You've had enough candle. We've had enough candle. All right, we've had enough had candle. Enough. So we're gonna leave you, and um, we're gonna talk to you tomorrow. We want you to. Is this our last Tuesday show for a while? Yeah, we're gonna. Well, it depends on what we feel like doing. Yeah. yeah. Don't Tuesday forget, works best right? for me too. Tuesday shows. Uh, Tuesday shows. And, and, Tuesday shows. Tuesday all that shows. Good stuff. And yeah, maybe we'll do Tuesday shows. Then I got to figure out how to do the phone line call. Yes, show. I'll work with you on that. Tuesday. If we could do a call in show or two. Remember, we're giving away a free car tomorrow. <laughs> Tell all your friends. To do it. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at RadioGunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Radio Gunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks.